Hello and welcome to the Yogscast Raid Guide to Brutal <coughs> Argolos in um, oh. Heroic Theo <coughs> Heroic Tolbarad <laughs> Argolos. <place>. Argolos. <laughs> He's basically a big pit lord. Argolos. Uh, the idea is that you need to mm. split your raid into two equally sized groups, one on each side of him, and you have to take turns to soak his meteor slash. This will do 200,000 fire damage, but it needs to be split between your groups. So in our 10 man raid, we had five people on each. And the idea is that everyone in the group takes 40,000 fire damage each. The reason you have to take turns to soak it is because the meteor slash gives you your party a debuff that will increase fire damage by 100%. So if you take two in a row, everyone in your party will be hit for 80k the next time, which is quite a lot. It's a very simple and straightforward mechanic to handle, but surprisingly difficult in practice. When the boss reaches 66% or 33% health, he will cast Fell Firestorm, where he literally covers the entire room in fire. As soon as he starts casting this, you can spread out and run anywhere in the room you want. You don't need to stay in your groups to soak the slashes. But once it's over, you need to get back into position again. There is also something you need to watch out for, which is a dot called Consuming Shadows. It's a magic dot that hits very, very hard. He casts three of them at once, and I can't stress the importance of dispelling this. Both healers in both groups need to be on the ball and dispel it quickly. This is a very, very challenging fight, and there is a lot of healing that needs to be done and a lot of damage going on. I mean, if people don't re realise what Meteor Slash is, it's sort of like a conal attack um, that hits everyone in front of him, but the damage is spread out amongst them evenly, uh, much like a Meteor. They land on you and the damage is spread amongst everyone. So the big problem is as soon as you start getting deaths, um, you can end up wiping quite quickly. Also there's the phase in which all the fire comes down from the sky. Everyone has to just keep moving, that's the key to it, because it's going to land where you're standing. Yeah. So everyone just has to keep moving, not run into each other, not set each other on fire. It's chaotic, everyone just runs around like headless chickens and then they have to quickly get back into position. It is also very unforgiving with a Berserk timer. He has 21.5 million health on 10 man. So you need to put out a lot of damage before he's going to die. Yeah, I mean much like Brutalus, it's a DPS race, isn't it? It is. Um, you've got 5 minutes and we actually hit the Berserk timer right at the end of this fight. But we did do it in a pickup group. Uh, and a couple of the <laughs> DPS died on the yeah. way, so... Oh, shit. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard, it's not straightforward. And best of luck to you, killing this early on in... Um, yeah, that's going to be the problem. When people don't have the epics and they're doing it in heroic blues, it's going to be a very, very difficult fight. Overall, it's really about the tanks taunting, you know, in turn, and uh, the healers dispelling the the consuming shadows mm. quickly and then everyone surviving and the dps playing properly yeah and actually <laughs> putting out enough damage to kill the ball so basically everyone has a very important job to do uh you know what we could do is we could do with a fucking blue dragon bring him down to 30 percent health or something <laughs> that would have been useful <laughs> god damn it oh, yeah i suppose would have been so much easier i mean god even the the most retarded pickup group in the world would be able to kill him if he only had 30% health. But I'm, I'm actually quite interested in seeing what the other bosses in this instance are going to be. Because, um... It's basically a prison for demons. So... There could be some quite interesting encounters. Yeah, in I'm future. hoping they don't just put in another flipping pit lord, who's just like a fire version. Oh, hang on, this guy is quite fiery. It's not going to be another pit lord. It's gonna, there might be a dread lord who summons ads who are like imps or those um those four armed hot chicks. Or is it six arms? No, I think it's four okay. arms. <laughs> okay. You face Jaraxxus! Could be like that, like Jaraxxus. Oh, yeah, there might be a Jaraxxus in there. Demon lord of the Eridar. It'd be nice if they have a big demon dog thing. 
Yeah, there is one of those caged up in the middle of the instance, actually. I'm not sure why I thought that was nice. I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> you like them, that's okay. It's fine, man. Or, or a big floating beholder thing, like in oh, God, I love a Blood Furnace beholder. and Violet Hold. Morag. Do you remember Morag in Violet Hold? Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord, it's Morag! <laughs> <laughs> giant beholder.